Hezbollah announced on Wednesday that its fighters had confronted an Israeli infantry unit attempting to infiltrate the town of Odessa in southern Lebanon. The group claimed to have inflicted casualties on the Israeli troops, forcing them to retreat. This is the first direct clash between Hezbollah and Israeli forces since Israel began to ground operation in southern Lebanon on Tuesday. Since September 23rd, Israel has carried out extensive airstrikes against Hezbollah targets across Lebanon, resulting in several deaths and injuries, according to the Lebanese Health Ministry. Several Hezbollah leaders, including Secretary General Hassan, have been killed in these strikes. The situation between Iran and Israel has also escalated, with Iran launching a direct attack on Israel and threatening retaliation. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned that Iran will pay a price for its actions. The U.S. President Joe Biden stated that the U.S. will oppose Israeli strikes on Iran nuclear facilities while reaffirming support for Israel. Iranian President Masoud Pezeshkian promised a stronger response to any retaliation, insisting that Iran does not seek war. The military escalations raises concerns of an uncontrollable conflict in the Middle East following last year's unprecedented Hamas attack on Israel that led to Gaza war. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres condemned the distincting cycle of violence in the region. Meanwhile, the head of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom, warned that Lebanese hospitals were overwhelmed with injured patients and struggling to cope the immense health needs exacerbated by the ongoing crisis.